Hi, my name is Nelson. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change sentences from direct speech to indirect speech. When you are changing sentences from direct speech to indirect speech, there are very many changes that occur. Let us go to the text. Change to the indirect speech. Number one, take the book. The sentence, take the book, begins with a verb. The word take is a verb. What is a verb? A verb is a doing word. Take, read, eat, drive, dance, cook. Such words in English are called verbs. So our sentence is take the book. The sentence is in direct speech. Two people are speaking. One is, taking, is telling the other, take the book. Let us change it to indirect speech. He told me to take the book. The word told is called a reporting verb. Take the book. He told me to take the book. If a sentence begins with a verb, we use the reporting verb told. We don't change the verb to the past because of the infinitive. He told me to, because of to. We cannot say to took, to take. Take the book, told me to take the book. Take, take. Don't change the verb to another text. He told me, two people are talking. One is telling the other. However, you don't have to use only told all the time. You can use other reporting verbs, the ones in red. Let me read the reporting verbs only. Told, ordered, asked, wanted. All of those ones are reporting verbs. You can use any. You can either say told, ordered, asked, wanted. You are all changing the sentence. Take the book. He told me to take the book. He ordered me to take the book. He asked me to take the book. He wanted me to take the book. Pause the video and you try this exercise. I'm going to give you a sentence and you change it to indirect speech. Speak English. I want you to write four sentences. Use the four reporting verbs, told, ordered, asked, wanted. I am the teacher and I'm telling you what to do. Change this sentence to indirect speech. You can pause the video as you write. If you belong to my many WhatsApp groups, go to the WhatsApp group and start writing the answers. I'll give you some time. Speak English. I am the teacher and I'm talking to you, remember? but use, write four sentences using the four reporting verbs you see on, your, on the video. Speak English. Good. Send your answers to the WhatsApp group and I will comment, I will comment on them. 
Number two, please take the book. Yes, we are adding another word, please. The first one was take the book. This one is please take the book. Please, that's a very beautiful word. You can use it in everything you say, you can say please. Let us change the sentences to indirect speech. He requested me to take the book. Because of the word please, the reporting verb is requested. Please is a polite word. It is a word which shows respect to the other. Instead of saying, take the book, I add the word please. Indirect speech. He requested me to take the book. However, you can use other reporting verbs. Asked, wanted. He wanted me to take the book. He wanted me to take the book. You can use any. Pause the video. I'm going to give you a sentence to practice. Pause the video, go to your WhatsApp groups and start sending your answers. Please cook the food. I am the teacher and I'm telling you, change the sentence to indirect speech. Please cook the food. <coughs> Please cook the food. Pause the video and begin writing. Next. Number three. Please take the book. There are very many ways of saying that. Please is a very beautiful word in English. Train yourself to use the word please. Please take the book. This is our third example. Instead of saying, please take the book, you can say, may you take the book, please? Could you take the book, please? Can you take the book, please? You can begin with please, or it can come last. You can use other beautiful words in English. May, could, can. All the sentences mean the same. Now this is not indirect speech. I am teaching you other ways of saying, please take the book. You can use the word may. You can use the word could. You can use the word can. Pause the video. Let us practice. Now, one, two, three. I am going to do for you number one, and you will do two and three. Number one, please lend me some money. May you lend me some money, please? Could you lend me some money, please? Can you lend me some money, please? Pause the video. Try number two and three. Go to your different WhatsApp groups and send the answers. This is good for practice. Learn how to say please. There are many ways to express yourself. Very good.
Now we have three assignments. The first one was speak English. The second one was please cook the food. The third one is please keep quiet. Number three, please speak slowly. Very good. Let's continue. Don't shout. We have another structure. Don't shout. Now I'm going to change indirect speech. He advised me not to shout. What have I done? I have added a reporting verb. The reporting verb is advised. He advised me not to shout. Don't changes to not to. Don't say to not, not to. He advised me not to shout. When a sentence begins with don't, the reporting verb is advised. However, there are other ways, there are other reporting verbs you can use. For example, you can use told, asked, ordered, warned. He told me not to shout. He asked me not to shout. He ordered me not to shout. He warned me not to shout. Practice. I'm going to give you a sentence such that you can practice. Don't steal. Pause the video. Go to your different WhatsApp groups. Start writing. Try to use all the reporting verbs for practice. Make different sentences using these reporting verbs. Advised, told, asked, ordered, warned. Don't steal. Pause the video. Start writing. Next. Be nice. Be nice is also advice. Sarah advised Ali to be nice. You can use all the other reporting verbs. I hope this video has been helpful. Send the work to the WhatsApp groups. I am going to record another video and we continue to learn about indirect speech.